Mr. Scott. The gentleman from Georgia is recognized for two minutes. I'd like to thank the gentleman from South Carolina and looking forward to visiting the family at Christmas. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House in this great country, as I traveled Covington, Warner Robins, and Tifton, Georgia this past week, the main issue I heard from constituents was their growing fear of the size of the government's regulatory burden on their business and their way of life. Now, I find it laughable that today Democrats say that they didn't know this 1099 provision was in this bill. The fact is, this 1099 provision was part of a continuous assault by the Democratic Party on small businesses across this country. Now, limiting this provision will further reduce the government's burden placed on these businesses. And as a small business owner myself, I know from personal experience that passing this resolution will allow employers the time necessary to focus on creating jobs rather than dealing with the burden of government paperwork. Mr. Speaker, I urge my fellow colleagues to vote in favor of repealing this overbearing, burdensome, job-killing 1099 provision that the Democrats put into that bill. And as Thomas Jeff Jefferson once said, when the people fear their government, there is tyranny. When the government fears the people, there is liberty. Mr. Speaker, it is time to liberate our people, our small businesses, from the burdens of this 1099 provision. I yield back my time. Gentlemen.